In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make andesite, and to do that, it's actually pretty simple. The first steps to make this beautiful block, and all we need for it is two flint, one gravel, and a hundred millibuckets of lava, and we need a basin and a press. All I'm going to do is figure out a certain way to make cobblestone. Now, you're going to need three sources of cobblestone for this, and a few shafts every now and then. Once you have your shafts set up, all you have to do is just connect connect it using belts. Now the next thing that you're going to need, millstones. Now for the millstones, if you place them right beside each other, you only need one source to power all of them since they have gears in them. So you want a row of three to break it down into gravel, and then you want a row of two to break that gravel down into flint while this row stays gravel. And hopefully you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You can make it as long as you want, it really doesn't matter. Um, just for reference, this is nine blocks long. That's how long this is. So the next step is to figure out where your flint is coming from and figure out where your gravel is coming from. So what you want to do is place a shaft on the very far right belt or left, whichever orientation you have these in. And then you want to go out uh, about two blocks from the last belt. So you have a one block space here and then connect that with a belt. And then what you want to do is grab your basin, and wherever your cobblestone is coming out, that's where you want to place this basin. So the flint will travel down through these, it will go onto this belt and be shoved into here. So now what you're going to need is a couple funnels. Now it could be andesite or brass, it really doesn't matter. Then you can just go ahead and put a press on top of it. And what we're going to do is actually set the recipe for this. Because if you just have gravel and flint going in, it'll make something totally different than andesite. So then once you have this set up, the next step is really, really simple. Now, for the side that your gravel is on, is typically the side that I like to do this on. So you can just put down some cauldrons like so, as big as you want. Because for one bucket of lava, you can make 10 andesite since it's only 100 millibuckets, which is actually pretty nice. So the next thing you want to do is start covering out the top. And what I typically do is start it in lines and then grab some dripstone. And I'll usually just put the dripstone on the bottom for our infinite lava source. Then for the last step to the lava holding part is just add a really simple ring around it. It really doesn't have to be too pretty, although you can make it prettier if you want. And then the next thing you are going to need is lava. Now with Minecraft, it has to be a lava source block for it to actually um, drip into a cauldron to make another source block. So just go ahead and get that filled up with lava. Now you can see it's starting to drip lava. So the next thing you want to do, dig down two blocks underneath your basins, or not basins, cauldrons, sorry. Now what you want to do is get some fluid pipes, and you can just attach these fluid pipes to the bottom, and even though it doesn't look like it's connected, it actually is. That actually confused me my first time making one of these. So now that you have that done, since we have our basin right here, you can just click this onto here, and bring it underground or wherever you please. And actually, what you're going to need for this as well is a mechanical pump. So take your mechanical pump, put it on there, and if this arrow is pointing the wrong way, you can just get a wrench and just right-click it, and it'll put it in the right direction. Now what you need to do is power this uh, pump so it actually starts pumping the lava into the basin. So what I'm going to use for a demonstration is just a um, creative motor. But typically, you want this to be as fast as it can be, because see, it's already sucking up lava. So there we go. We already have 1,000 millibuckets of lava. So now, really, all we need to do is just put some funnels on these and power these. I'm going to go ahead and get this powered, and we're going to put it up to 64 RPM, just like that. Then put a shaft under here, put a vertical gearbox with a cog, and now those are going to start moving. And now what you need to do is come on the other side, or if you want them both on the same side, you can just do something like this, and just put cogs on these. So that's actually what I'm going to do, just to make it look a little cleaner. So there we go, now our millstones are being powered, and now we need to power this belt. So this is why you bring it out a couple blocks, unless you want to run this through the ground and, you know, have an empty space under here, but I prefer to just have it like that. So that's spinning the wrong way, so just reverse that, 
So there we go. And that is all pretty simple. And now all you need to do is just get a funnel. Now you also need to put funnels on these millstones, not in front of them. Not like that. Just like that. So you got funnels there, got funnels on the back. Now these need funnels. And then you put funnels on the back of these. And just like that. Now, if I put funnels here, it should start grinding it down. And we'll just wait here for a minute. Oh, almost forgot some. We got to power the press or else it won't do anything. And there we go. You have made your andesite. Now, if you guys want to see how to make andesite alloy completely automated, 20 likes and uh, yeah, just comment down in the comments and I will be sure to catch up.